Tell. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's up, y'all? Just me again. You know what it is. It's Mr. Warmack. I'm in the building, as always. Here to do a little, do a little common sense video here. If you notice, I don't know if I thought about this before, there's a, there was a travel ban to Tel Aviv, which is Israel. And the reason for the travel ban was uh, Hamas was allegedly shooting rockets, you know, which would take them in to get to Tel Aviv. And uh, I guess the administration didn't want to put Americans, thought they didn't want to put Americans at risk, so they felt a lot the uh, they felt the situation was severe, so they had a restrictive flight stay. I think, I know for sure it was Tel Aviv, and I want to say for Israel too, but uh, what, what, the, what the crazy part is, you would think you would have a restrictive flights to Israel, that they would have restrict with, with a, a, a Ebola here now, with Ebola here, you would think that they would have restrictive flights from, like, from the African countries that have Ebola. Now, people are going to say, well, that's just not being realistic. Yes, it is being realistic. These, these planes can fly along the flight. This, you know, don't let them, don't, they don't have to fuel up in Liberia. I mean, let them fuel up in, in Cairo or let them take a, a diversion to London or something. I mean, because it seems crazy to me that the more you're going to throw a rocket that you don't know that's going to be shot, you want to tell me not to go to Tel Aviv, but yet you're going to let, like, let people wearing bird masks that just got off the plane talking about, hey, I feel a little sick coming to American country to spread this disease. Now, I know they say that the disease couldn't, can't be spread, only going to be spread through human contact, while it's through contact, but at the same time, people, a lot of doctors, if you saw some interviews, a lot of doctors weren't aware of the temperature aspect of the, of the disease, how... Then you had the temperature thing where it was, they, they were saying you had to have a certain temperature to have it, and a lot of people weren't having that certain temperature. So that shit goes to show you that there's not exact science on Ebola, which, by the way, hasn't been around like for a year like you people would think it would be. Ebola's been around for a minute. I think what it was is there's been a lot of touching the feely. There's been a lot of, there's been a lot of, a little, a lot of nasty stuff that's been going on governmental wise by some governments, and I think that's what's happening. I think they, they're just building a better string somewhere in a petri dish. So, yeah, because to me, this don't make sense. If you don't want people to go to Tel Aviv because of the rockets, why are you letting the Ebola virus come into the States? That's just me, man. I'm just thinking out loud. Don't pay no attention to me. I'm just some nut that wears glass sunglasses and a headband and looks good to women. That's all I am. Peace.